Uh, light at heavyweight and Lorenzo Aragon at welterweight. Kindelin is their last finalist. So the best Cuba can do in these world championships is three gold. And as you mentioned earlier, coach, that doesn't stack up very well against the seven they won in Belfast. Not by their standards. And look what's happening here now. With Sayota trailing, he's coming, he's coming out trying to make up the points. He was trailing by four, and now he's trailing by six because the more he comes out at Kindlin, the more leather he eats. Look at the combination fast hands of Mario Kindlin. And the lead is now eight. Kindlin had a fairly easy time advancing to the final against some very good boxers. He beat the silver medalist from the 2001 Worlds, Georgiev of Bulgaria. Then he beat a Korean. And finally, he defeated the 2000 World Junior Champion from Hungary to get here. Oh, good body shot underneath from Kindlin. Right hook again lands from Kindlin. What a flashy boxer Mario Kindlin is. And Sayota is doing his best to try to stay in there with him, but for every one he throws, Kindlin throws three back, and there you saw it. That was a perfect example. One shot from Sayota and three back from Kindlin. A couple of good body shots by Kindlin. Oh. Sayota looks none the worse for wear, but coach, you know those take steam out of fighters. Oh boy, he's landing. Kindlin's landing hard right hooks against Sayota. Look at the flurry, everything. I mean, you, you could probably count on one hand the number of times that Kindlin only throws one punch. Everything is in combination. Sayota trying hard to keep it close, but boy, he's got his work cut out for him in the next round. 24-17, the count at the end of round three. Look at that, combinations, everything in combinations. There's two, there's two again. There's two again. Everything is in combinations. Nothing is singular. And look, packed house. Packed house at the National Stadium. All of them behind Sayota of Thailand, but Kindlin is simply the better fighter. Seven-point lead for him as the fourth and final round begins. The referee again taking a long time to cause a, to make the break. We're seeing a lot of that on the international scene now. Whatever happens, this will turn out to be a respectable performance by Thai fighters at these championships. They have already got a bronze and a gold that Yong Yihor won. We saw him win it last week. And Sayota will get out of this ring with at least a silver medal. You just have to watch it. If you want to succeed on the internationals, if for all the Canadian fighters watching who are, who, who are hoping to gain a berth for uh, uh, Athens next year, if you're watching, this is what you've got to do if you expect to succeed against the big boys. You've got to throw these punches. Now rewind the tapes, watch it again and again and again, and watch how many punches Mario Kindlin throws and how much very little time in between series of punches. Boom, he gets right back to work right away. Resets here, now boom, there's three punches, four punches. There's three more, four more punches. That's the way you've got to throw punches if you expect to succeed. And don't forget it was a seven-point lead after three rounds. Look at this, an 18-point lead now for Mario Kendallin of Cuba. This is one of the best displays of boxing we've seen at these world championships. Four more punches again from Kendallin. Three, four, five. Right there, everything. And that's in spaces, there's two more. And this is like with one second interval between his sets. Sayota is a game competitor. He's giving it his best shot, but he is overmatched against Kindlin. He's just walking into everything. Give him credit for the amount of punches he's taken and he's still there. And Sayota not showing any respect towards Kindlin. He's ready to go at it right away. I mean, give the guy credit. Oh, good, hard shot. Good chin on this kid, boy. Kindlin has landed some bombs against this guy. Kindlin was in complete control at the end of three rounds, but he's turned it up a couple of notches now in round number four. And there's the bell to end it. A 45-27 decision for Mario Kindlin. Receiving congratulations from Cuban coach Cervalli Fuentes. One, two, three, 
four, five, six. That's how you win. Mario there you go. Sayota no match for Mario Kindelin, who is now a three-time world champion and a heavy favorite for gold in Greece. Good, good performance. And Sayota, he's got nothing to be ashamed of. I mean, to make it all the way to the final and then lose in such fashion to somebody like Kindelin, boy, there's no shame in that. And I'll tell you what, he took some bombs from Kindelin. Well, the medal race ends with Russia in front on three gold and three silver. We should remind you, Andrew Kooner beat a Finnish fighter to advance against Klong John of Thailand, but Kooner was on the wrong end of that decision. That's how the World Championships ended for him. Don't forget, the Argos are in Calgary later tonight on the CFL on CBC. Now for the coach, Russ Anber, I'm Scott Oak. Thanks for watching. Mark Conley now in Victoria. Fighter in his prime.